And welcome back to Sniper Path of Vengeance. When we last left off, we were... Oh. Probably gonna get blamed for that. <sighs> That's right, we were, uh... Needlessly involving ourselves in this gang war going on. Throw down the weapon! And the police are also still a little upset I broke out of prison, I would assume. Unless, what is the gang war really between, because... Stop! Stop! Jesus. I don't know why I keep on insisting... ...on using the revolver, <laughs> because it's clearly inferior to the shotgun, but... Oh, that's right, I said I was trying to be Golgo 13. My favorite sniper. And obviously that takes precedent over, uh, her performance. And what is it with this game and doors and, and decals showing up through them? I almost feel like that would take a concentrated effort to fuck that up. <laughs> also, what is it with this game and doors that you can't actually open? <gasps> Can we use this to jump over the... No. <gasps> take two on that. Nah, not quite. Not, not like they would save us any time anyway, but... <laughs> and I'm assuming this is the way to go. Yeah, this game has a similar problem... I'm guessing that's coming through a door, then. But the problem is, which door is it? You can't tell which doors actually open, and which ones aren't meant to open, because there's no differentiation between them. Which is the same problem that a previous game we LP'd, You Are Empty, had. And you see that there's no locational damage in this game, because I just shot the dude in the head and it didn't matter. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure the Lift Tech engine was capable of locational damage, so I don't know why it wouldn't be in the game. I think I was commenting on the gang war before, like, these dudes in these... Hold on, what is this? <laughs> Is this an ad for prostitution? Like, is this a poster for... Well, there's a cops on the right, though, and that's that's clearly the prostitute from the first level on the left. So, so what exactly is a service? <laughs> is it for narking out prostitutes, or...? The world may never know. <gasps> Whenever I see boards like that covering a window, I, I just assume. You gotta bust through them. I keep wanting to comment on this game war, because that dude said there was a game war going on. But it just appears to be, like, all these gang members appear to be part of the same gang. So unless he means police versus gangs? I'm assuming that's what he meant. Uh, do a little bit of health. Wait. Awesome! So when you right-click, even when you're in the menu, it would still do whatever your alt fire on the weapon is. In the case of the sniper rifle, uh, zooming in and out. I wonder if that would work with the assault rifle and its flashlight. Because it's the only other weapon with an alt fire that I know of. I'm assuming that came from down here. But we'll get to there when we get to there. See, we would have missed this rotten cheeseburger. And that cop. You know, I, I probably shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth, but when, it, when a police officer shoots you up close with a shotgun, it should probably do a little more than two pixels worth of damage. Apparently we killed two cops there, so we killed uh, two birds with one stone. I didn't even notice. Wait, so there's that way, and then there's this way. So one of these is probably going to be a dead end. Wait, so that cop and this gang member were just sharing a hallway together. So, so who is this gang war really between, then? If the cops and the gang members aren't even at odds with one another, then I, I guess it's just us versus the world. I guess that's the real gang war going on here. This is the dead end, isn't it? Yep. Yep. 
Could've called that one. Oh, also, you may have noticed I quick saved. I figured out how to quick save. So, no more worrying about having to replace sections of the game because I forgot to hit F5 or what have you. Was that another case of two dudes with one shot? Or did I take a second shot and forget about it already? Let's just pretend I got two birds with one stone again. <laughs> and it was a no-scope, no less. Sounds like they forgot to include a sound effect for that. Wait, hold on. Toggle flashlight. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> Holy shit, how do you fuck up lighting this bad? Like, the world has to get darker when you use the flashlight for the flash to have a visible effect, is what I, I presume is going on. There are very many enemies around the bend. Should probably get to a safer spot of any more pop out at us. Oh, that was a sniper, too, so they're really calling in the heavy artillery on us. Uh, let's just make our move. Oh, we're lucky we can just no-scope with this thing, that we can just use the hip-fire and it's just as accurate. Which, you know, I appreciate when games do that with sniper rifles, because the idea that a sniper rifle, like, you couldn't aim it from the hip like you could any other gun, is kind of silly. I mean, they're just rifles, especially the M14. Door doesn't open. And I bet there's an invisible wall right between these two barricades. Yep, of course. <laughs> and around this end, yep, yep, yep. And just for thoroughness's sake, of course. Why wouldn't there be? Yeah, we want to restore health. I don't give a shit about, like, dulling the pain, whatever that means. It probably just means that bullets do less damage. Uh, there was another street over there, but I'm... This has got to be the place to go. This has got to be where the game wants us to go, so let's just... Whatever we miss, we miss. Let's, uh, this appears to be the mayor's office. The mayoral estate, even. Nice music sting. Time to pay a visit to an old friend. Oh, we haven't met this man before, as far as I know. <laughs> yeah. We don't seem like the type who would have interacted with the mayor. Who knows, maybe we donated to his campaign. <gasps> Looks like he has his own personal bodyguards. And they, they appear to be packing, uh, that was an SMG. Uh, TMP, even. No, an Uzi. Or MAC-10? MAC-10. That's a MAC-10, right? I didn't actually pay attention to the name. <sighs> yeah, this is definitely an Ingram MAC-10. And what is this? <laughs> I didn't know this game took place in Russia, but apparently it takes place in Russia. Uh, otherwise, why would this mayor be putting up posters of fucking Lenin on his walls? Scram! <laughs> Scram is, is not really the most intimidating of words. You know, if, if someone, if I was a bodyguard, if I was a hired gun... Trying to tell someone to vacate the premises, I'd just be like, fuck off, or get out, or... I wouldn't say scram, though. That'd probably be one of the last words to come to mind. Lots of narrow hallways in this mansion. Not really sure I approve the interior decor. <laughs> it's not doing anything for me. Oh boy. Decisions, decisions. Nope, nope. Well, well. 
Maybe the game made a decision for us, and that decision was for us to die. For that door to swing open. When was my last quick save? Oh, that's right, when the screen was uh, pink and corrupted looking. I'm pretty sure that's a consequence of the virtual machine emulation. Time to pay a visit to an old. However, that shit works. Throw their weapons down! Hold it. Alright, so this is the way we went the first time. I should probably just clear this guy out. And then let's go back and see what the other route had in store for us. I'm gonna hazard a guess here and say that both these different routes go to the same end place. Oh, this one has way more stuff for us to take, though. Damn you! Damn you! <sighs> oh, I can hear those footsteps. The stereo mixing in this game is not ideal, though, so I can't really place which direction they're coming from. They're probably just all around us. There's probably dudes on the other side of that door as well. Oh, that's maddening, though. <laughs> To listen to that for too long, I'll go crazy. <laughs> I'm sure they're right on the steps. That dude's not moving for some reason. <laughs> Is it just this one dude then making all that racket? Nope, he has friends. A few of them. We should probably move into this room. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of them pouring through the door, assuming their AI is up to scratch. Nope, that was meant to go through the door. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't even kill him, so it probably wouldn't have even hurt us if we were still in the room. <laughs> yeah, I think that was mostly a wasted nade. Well, I'm sure we'll pick up more. It's hard to tell which of the automatic weapons is better, the Mac-10 or the... Is that...? I'm just now noticing the apple has a worm in it. <laughs> I'm sure the rest of you already noticed that. Uh, there's our revenge for that guy killing us last time. And luckily these two aren't, uh, aren't particularly observant. Yep, and this confirms my theory that, yep, but both of these paths lead to the same place. Just making sure. Alright, let's loot this in the bathroom. So let's see our reflection in the mirror, and of course, cop out. It's broken, that's why you can't see your reflection. The mayor is dealing with a lot of budget cuts right now, he doesn't have the budget to replace his broken mirror. It has nothing to do with us being too lazy to create a functioning player model, okay? Oh. Don't mind if I do. And I'm assuming those are Mac 10 clips. Which means we should have full ammo, which means we're, we're pretty well set right now. So we'll drink the vomit coke and the worm ridden apple. And then I'll bring our health right back up. On. G guards? It's a little late for that, Mayor. <laughs> Pretty sure I killed them all. Speak up, or I'll spray your head across the wall. Who do you work for? <laughs> vassal, go to the abandoned monastery. You'll find him there. <laughs> so aggressive. We gotta follow up that aggression, obviously. <laughs> You can't shout that loudly and not let the guy off the hook. I wonder what the other dialogue option would have sounded like, though. What if we had picked that other choice? Because it seems like we could have gotten more information out of him. Oh, with my luck, it'll be the same exact response to a completely different question. This quick save right outside here. Who are you? And what do you want? G guards? 
What are these drugs you're injecting prisoners with in jail? It, it's a drug they're trying to sell to the government. The mob pays me to stay quiet. Oh, notice the typo in the subtitle up there. Is there an antidote? I, I work for Don Vassal. I just passed the drugs along to the police chief. Uh, he uses it in the jail. So we would have missed out on all of that if we hadn't, if we had just gone with the first option. Well, at least he was more helpful this time around. So uh, I'm just gonna let you off with a warning. Now, be confiscating these as well. It's your punishment. So uh, don't do it again. No, that's not the way to go. Sorry, sorry, I'll just let you get back to what you were doing before. <laughs> That's the right thing to do, right? <laughs> We'd probably be in hotter water if we had a mayor's blood on our hands. I mean, we were, we've already killed like hundreds of cops, so I'm pretty sure we're doomed no matter what, but <laughs> it's the electric chair for us. Oh, and now it's time to flee the scene. I didn't know that until the mission chapter title informed me of such. Probably should have been a sound effect for that. Of course, that wouldn't be the first time this game forgot a sound effect. Wait, whoa, whoa, hold on. Wait just a minute. Oh, boy. Hmm. And the game somehow just muted itself. <laughs> That's probably not good. That's probably not supposed to happen. Yeah, that's, uh... Oh, what is this? I think we picked up a new weapon. Looks like a P90 with a silencer. I was looking for my grenades because I was about to say that uh, I'm going to go commit suicide and try reloading the save and see if that brings our sound back. Who do you work for? Now, as it turns out, I'm, I've relaunched the game. Just reload and save did not do anything. Oh, that's a... <laughs> That was not a good spot for us to a quick save before. <laughs> that was my bad. <laughs> Very attentive guard here. Let's see if we can sneak up on him and stealth kill him. Great, another fucking typo, except this time it's on a fucking texture. <laughs> Incredible. For real? Are you for fucking real, game? <laughs> Holy shit. Like, I was. I made jokes about the deaf enemies in this game, but. The deaf, dumb, blind? What, what else is there? Like, how do you. How does that even happen? Let's rearrange this inventory. Uh, yeah, I want to try that P90. What can I... Let's, let's move this pistol out. We're just going to use the revolver from now on anyway, right? So put that in the pistol slot. Uh... No, I gotta have shotgun in the third slot. I'm, just, I'm too used to playing Zoom. <laughs> it's got to be melee 1, pistol 2, shotgun 3, automatic 4, rockets 5, plasma 6, BFG 7. Of course, in lieu of that, I guess we'll settle for three separate automatic weapons, a sniper rifle, grenades. Close enough, right? I know it's not exciting to watch, but <laughs> it's important shit. You gotta know your keybinds. You gotta know your hotkeys. Especially when the squirrel wheel doesn't cycle weapons. Damn you! <laughs> I do took three shots to kill, so... I don't know if I should retract my statement about the locational damage, or if that dude is just tougher, or, or what. Uh, check the other way first. For... If we can do the same shit that we did before, if this works again... Oh, for fuck's sake! Drop that. Hey, he heard that! He heard the gunshot, but... He didn't hear the sound of his skull being bashed in. Oh, we're stuck there. <laughs> now teach me to open the door from the wrong side. Oh, and that door just phased right through us, so... Lesson unlearned. <laughs> Damn 
Oh. Probably not a revolver situation. In fact, this is probably an automatic weapon situation. And that's probably everyone down here, right? If the other guys weren't attracted by the sounds. That means there's probably no one left. Or as we've established, everyone is deaf. Yep. Man, what was I talking about? Of course there's more. Locked. Looks like I can input a code. I wonder who knows it. Uh, does he mean a code for the garage shutters or for this car that I can apparently just walk through? Or <laughs> Incredible. Collision? What's that? Never heard of it. So I don't know if he meant the key for the for the garage door for the car itself. Throw the weapon. <laughs> I'm just testing these guards at this point. Testing the AI. It's failing the test. <laughs> uh, let's just make sure this is yeah, it's probably the door from before. Hey, don't kill me! I, I just work here! A likely story. What is the car's key code? It's one 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 one! Honest! Well, he was helpful, right? Let him off the hook. One 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 though. We probably could have guessed that. Wait, hold on. I didn't say you could walk away. Break your legs. See, it's non-lethal. He didn't actually die. I just broke his legs. I need to make sure he didn't follow me or stab me in the back. See, I'm not an asshole. <laughs> right, so I'd be the key for the car then. And hey, it looks like we're flying through the levels today. We're on the uh we're on our way to the old monastery already. Well, this is certainly a monastery. Okay, they did remember to put the car here. I was just double checking. It's a good thing I did too, because there's some shit in here for us. Can we still, yep, still clip right through it. Don't change a thing. And, uh, fresh save. You see, that's a bad spot to put the trigger for that line of dialogue, because as soon as you trigger it, the dudes are already shooting at you, so you can't really hear the line. It's good that we got all this food, too, so we can just save that alcohol for later. Maybe drink it to celebrate killing our target. Yeah. This music is very intense. Oh, maybe it's because we got... Yeah, I think we're in for a proper firefight. Fucking A. All right, we're gonna have to use all our sniping skills. You know, we haven't had too many, uh, fucking A. We haven't had too many causes to use a sniper rifle thus far. It's, but, uh, it seems like they're really forcing us to right now. I have no objections when the name of the game is Sniper Path of Vengeance. It's probably a good thing. It's probably a good time to start incorporating the rifle. <laughs> Problem is that there's just so much fucking fog here, you can't tell where anything's coming from. And... I'm trying to figure out if that's a stylistic choice, or if it's just a technical limitation. I'm gonna... I'm gonna say technical, even though I, I'm sure the lift thick engine could handle this shit without having, like, N64 amounts of fog. <laughs> Ugh. That was inevitable, wasn't it? Right then, so, uh, strategy for our second attempt. I think that route, that this took us right into the open, probably not the ideal route. It's probably... find a safer way. Some monastery. I do want the ship from here, though. Surprise, surprise, the MAC-10 is not good at a range. Especially when you're just holding it down like I was right there. Right, so let's double back then. There's still all this fog indoors, too. This is definitely technical, then, because... You wouldn't put fog indoors, right? 
Unless they just didn't know how to differentiate between the outdoors and the indoors in this level. At least there's no snipers here. These are just dudes with assault rifles. We can survive the assault rifle. I can heal in the middle of getting shot with an assault rifle. I'll, I'll find a way to bandage myself up between the bullets. Yeah, it seems like the smarter way to go for sure. I'll admit, this music, it's got me pumped. I mean, it's like cheap and generic as can be, but it, it does the job. Oh, now be one of the snipers from before then. Is that another one right there? Now he had a flashlight. The sniper rifles don't have flashlights, so they just have the laser sight. Oh, that's a bunch of healing items there. That was a pretty dangerous tactic, by the way. I let him shoot me. But I knew I was gonna get all this shit, so... Oh, it's a trap! It's a fucking trap! It's devious. I had to eat a couple bullets there to grab those healing items. You know, you gotta lose health to gain health in this game. And in life. Though, to be fair, I probably lost as much health there as I'm gonna gain back from using those items, so... <laughs> I hear one more dude. Gotta come from down below. I think that should do it! I think... I think we cleared him out. So yeah, that's my, uh, my tip for playing this game, which I'm sure all of you have been. Are waiting for your order on Amazon to ship at this point. No, wait! I spoke too soon. Two more. And that's gotta do it, right? So yeah, if you, if you play this game, take the, the other route. Don't just waltz out into the open where all the snipers are waiting for you. Oh, there's still more, <laughs> more space to explore. Right, so there'll probably be more enemies then. But we've only got a couple minutes left at this point before we hit that 30 minute mark, so. Hey, big boy, turn around. Oh, great. A Girl Scout. What do you want, honey? My name is Stella. You're some hitman if you can't even hear me behind you. Well, I operate with less discretion than most hitmen. Ha, to say the least, you've murdered half the scum in this place. Alright, so how do we approach this? Are we flirty or intimidating? You know, flirty seems like it might be more fun, so let's go with that. This isn't business, it's personal. They call me the Sniper. Uh, Dominic. I've heard of you. You don't seem so ominous to me, big boy. It's my inner child, I guess. I'm looking to show him the Don Vassal. A mob boss? You're not as bright as you look. What's with the death wish? It's a lover's quarrel. Look, is he here or not? No, he's not. He's dead. And you may be too if you don't watch yourself. I guess that's one way to save on the cost of creating a model for him. Who offed him? It was a power struggle. Don Mario brought him down, took over his business. This Mario is running Vassal's drugs now. Do you know where I can find him? Maybe I can help. Meet me at the Bullseye Tavern in an hour. Sounds interesting. Maybe I will. Good luck, sweetie. Is there really that much sweet about our sniper? He seems like kind of a dick to me, to be honest. I think that's going to do it for this episode. But before I go, there's just one thing I've got to test out. I'll never be able to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> time.